Welcome to Cats News. I am Ricardo and these are the updates of May 22nd, 2023. We are 24 days left in this school year. Prom is behind us and I have to report that our cat students were looking amazing. These are just a few of the images of the glamorous event. If you want to see more, follow cats at DRLC Instagram. Mr. Jacobson is moving on. Cats Communications and Technology School math teacher Mr. Jacobson will be resigning as a teacher here at CATS. Mr. Jacobson has been a teacher at Communications and Technology School for over four years. He is known for working hard to help students with math and even more. In February, Mr. Jacobson's wife gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. He took a leave for three weeks and returned in March. With his wife returning back to work, so Jacobson will be taking a break from teaching so he can take care of his son, he believes this is an amazing opportunity to spend some quality time with his baby boy. He is planning to eventually begin teaching again, but at a school closer to his house. Mr. Jacobson explained that he wishes everybody luck and keep pushing. Mr. Jacobson will be truly missed by many teachers and students, even the principals. He will still be in contact with us though. Let's talk about what we eat. To what degree can you pr eat processed foods? How harmful is processed foods to your body? What damage does ultra-processed foods do to your body and health, physically and mentally? First of all, what ultra-processed foods, well, ultra-processed foods are made from unnatural or highly processed foods, chemicals or both? For example, instant soups and other food mixes, sodas count as processed foods. Eating ultra-processed foods is linked to various health complications to not only cancers, but also heart diseases and gastrointestinal disorders. However, in the United States, 73% of the food supply is ultra-processed. According to an article done on February 6, 2023, revealed that eating ultra-processed foods increase your chance of developing cancer by 6%. Similarly, it puts you in great danger of dying from ovary and breast cancers than any other cancer. In a 2022 New York Times article, Sally Wodeika reports of a study of over 10,000 adults in the United States. In the study, we find that the higher amount of UPFs in the participants ate, the more likely they are to feel mildly dejected and anxious. Now on to immigration. Title 42 is law that gives the government the ability to stop people from coming into the country. If there's any threat of communicable diseases, on May 11th, Title 42 was lifted. As a result, many fear that the lifting of this act, which was used as a ban to stop immigration, may cause a flood of immigrants coming through the U.S. slash Mexican border. As a way to counter this, the Biden administration approved 1,500 active duty U.S. troops to be sent to the border. They are there to assist with administrative and transport duties. The troops will only be there for 90 days. The troops will be armed with self-defense gear. They will not directly help law enforcement unless it has to do with immigrants passing the border. Here's a story that is gory and scary. An Uber Eats driver by the name of Randall William Koch was killed and dismembered by an accused MS-13 gang member, Oscar Solis. Randall texted his wife that he was on his final delivery and would be coming home very soon. His last order was just a mile away from his house. When his wife hadn't heard from him in hours after his text and he had not answered her calls, she decided to report him missing. The police then asked Uber Eats to track his last location, which is traced back to his recent delivery before he went missing. Motion activated cameras show Randall at the door with a delivery bag at 6.56. Right after he texted his wife, the cameras cut off. The next day, the cameras see Oscar and someone else carrying two bags out of the trash can. The police came back to discover there were human remains inside the bag, later identifying that it was indeed Randall. These stories are about artificial intelligence and your future. Silicon Valley companies are creating AI services to compete with art created by humans, including literary and graphic art. AI systems may one day replace up to 20 million jobs in the near future. If technology is overtaking humans, then humanity has its rights to fight back. In Hollywood, writers have been on strike for nearly two weeks. 
one of the two reasons for the strike is to include in the contracts a clause that speaks to AI writing scripts and or replacing screenwriters. Illustrators, freelance, and digital content creators are also being threatened. Many social media companies are replacing jobs with the AI services. Roles such as bookkeepers, customer service, compliance officers, and even executive assistants are all jobs threatened by artificial intelligence. Many companies are looking at using AI service to replace jobs primarily because of economic gain. However, the cost may be greater than we think. Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, stated, I believe that the rapid process of AI is going to transform society in ways we do not fully understand, and not all of the effects are going to be good, Hinton said in 2021. Commencement address at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in Mumbai. He noted how AI will boost health care while also creating opportunities for lethal autonomous weapons. I find this prospect much more immediate and much more terrifying than the prospect of robots taking over, which I think is a very long way off. Many students have been caught trying to use AI to cheat on assignments. This is becoming a huge issue around the world. It is reported that students are forgetting how to write for themselves and are becoming totally reliant on the use of AI like ChatGBT. In 2020, when classes took place on Zoom, plagiarizing was heavily used for multiple assignments. Now in 2023, the use of AI has become even more popular with students who are using this technology to write assignments for them. AI has been around for decades, but it is only now that people are just re realizing its potential to change how we live and work. Experts think AI will take over future jobs, leaving many with no work or less paying jobs. It is very possible that even doctors may or may not be needed for the future. Experts are projecting that AI can be very helpful in times of need. The technology may not be all bad. Tech giants such as Google, Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon are pouring billions of dollars into the development of innovative artificial intelligence products and services while universities are increasingly integrating AI into the course of offerings. The United States federal government is also actively involved in the growth and development of AI technology. The Department of Defense is elevating its artificial intelligence efforts. One can expect significant advancements to occur. I don't know, let's keep an eye on this one. Thanks for watching, I'm Ricardo, Cat's Pride.